problems. I'd really like the Minister to focus on his answers on that. Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Chairman. I'm pleased to rise on behalf of New Zealand First to take a short call in this Committee of the Whole House as we debate the Border Processing Trade Single Window and Duties Bill. Focusing on the Minister's proposed amendments as set out on Supplementary Order Paper Number 419, <coughs> excuse me, Mr Chairman, I have to say that New Zealand First is pleasantly surprised and somewhat encouraged by the direction the Government appears to be taking with regards to biosecurity, at least to the extent that it seems to be being addressed in terms of how this particular bill is concerned. At second reading, Mr Chairman, we expressed a concern that this Government might choose to follow a path which did not afford sufficient regard to the importance of biosecurity, or that it might not. There was perhaps some lack of clarity, if not actual ambiguity, as to the Government's intentions or indeed potential lack of them uh, insofar as their intended way forward under the regime as the passing of this bill would bring about. We are pleased then, as I say, tentatively encouraged by the Minister's desire to split this bill into two bills, thus affording biosecurity a greater attention and widening the ambit of the bill so as to secure consistency with other relevant pieces of legislation as they relate to the biosecurity agenda. Mr Chairman, the Minister's SAP still delays the implementation of the bill for another two years, which we do not necessarily see as being ideal. We understand that key stakeholders in industry, and indeed the departments uh, themselves concerned, need sufficient time to familiarise themselves with the changes to procedure which this bill, when it becomes law, will bring about. But we are duty-bound also to ask whether one year uh, would not provide a sufficient period within which the stakeholders and interested parties could have brought themselves up to speed. Two years may err on the side of caution, Mr Chairman, and that may be no bad thing in some circumstances. But again, we wonder, New Zealand First wonders, if it might not be advantageous to importers and exporters alike, uh, as well as, of course, the vital biosecurity considerations of many sectors, to make the benefits of the single trade window available to all those interests in one year rather than two. Mr Chairman, the Minister's SAP brings the second of the two bills which this bill will become into line with a number of important pieces of legislation. The Biosecurity Act 1993, the Agricultural Compounds and Veterinary Medicines Act 1997, the Animal Products Act 1999, the Food Act 1981, and we understand, as I'm sure the rest of the House understands, that this Act itself is likely to be very much amended and uh, in many regards superseded by the Food Bill, which is currently before the Primary Production Committee. But the Minister's SAP brings the new bill, the Biosecurity Border Processing Trade Single Window Amendment Act 2014, as it will become, into line with the Food Act. The SAP also aligns the bill with the Hazardous Substances and New Organisms Act 1996 and the Wine Act 2003. These are regarded as being eminently sensible additions, Mr Chairman, and in closing, while I will reiterate that New Zealand First regards this Government's track record on biosecurity as being nothing short of woeful, we are encouraged by the attention which this SAP appears to be bringing to it, and we are happy to support both the SAP itself and indeed the passage of the bill. Uh, in fact, the passage of the two bills through the House and into the statute box. Thank you. Thank you. David Shearer. I'll just take a, a, a five-minute call because I see the Minister wants to...